At least we have our memories. Right. It's hard when you can't trust your own memory, isn't it? The woman gave me, and I did. This too shall pass, I suppose. Sometimes you just have to eat rotten things. That's life, isn't it? And here we are. Not quite as grand as it used to be. Of course, there hasn't been a train since the germs left. Still, the tracks go from here all the way to the bridge, and then across the river. And then all over Britain. I wonder if Prue made it this far. I wonder why Mr. Kite sent her to the Garden District at all. She could have just popped over the bridge from the station at Apple Hall. What are we going to do if there isn't food? Will you shut it? I'm trying not to blow myself up. Hey, lock up your board bags. I'll piss in your corpses. We're coming for you, you greedy bastard! Go eat a banger, you leaky scanner! You're done hoarding all the bee meat. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh. This won't take a minute. Just looking. Please just lie down. How do I get down to the tracks?
It's not your bloody birthday, is it? Do we really have to do this? That's how I get down. Right. Huh. Now I just have to find the tracks and walk on out of Wellington Wells.
I'm so sorry, Percy. I should have got on the train with you, like I promised. The rule was if a kid was a day over 13, what could I do? You could have kept your mouth shut, Arthur, and not told them you were 13. That's what you could have done. to board even if I was 10 days too old, but we don't make the rules anymore, Mr. Hastings. I shouldn't have told him they got my birthday wrong. I don't even know why I did. Should have just kept quiet and got on the train. Some sort of caving. So much for walking down the train tracks to the Britannia Bridge. What the fuck do I do now? Oh, look! A He's a little lost lamb. Where's Bo Peep? In your curtsy way, I bet. <laughs> That's little Miss Muppet, you Muppet. Uh, uh, can we pound him now? Yep. Uh, uh. Remember the 5th of November? Who will guard them? 
bloody hell. That's Ollie. Ollie! Come for me, have you? Ollie? I'm Arthur! You won't get me! You won't get me, you bastard! Ollie! I... No! It's Arthur! Bloody murdering wastrels! You've gone mental! I'll save you, Margaret! I'm your old neighbour, Artie! Always lying! Little Artie! Artie's gone! They took him away! Ollie, no! They You're didn't! You're lying! You're a wastrel! Ollie, it's Arthur! Well, why didn't you see that before? Oh my god, Artie. Little Artie. Yeah, for fuck's sake. Watch your mouth, laddie. What would your mum think? I thought they took you away. No. They had my birthday wrong. What? Sorry? No, of course not. No, you've got it all wrong. That was Jack turned you in and I what tried to save you. Right. I remember now. You came back. From the station. The only one. <laughs> you don't think they hurt him? Percy. The Germans aren't animals, you know. They just wanted to make sure we stay quiet. And we did. Spot of tea? Uh, that's very kind of you. I I'm not thirsty. That's right, Margaret. We have to run after water. <laughs> I have to find him. Any idea where he might be after all these years? Not really. I know I have to get out of Wellington Wells. I, th I thought I could take the train tracks to the bridge. Aye. The only way to the Britannia Bridge is the train station and the parade. And good luck getting into the parade. You could stay here. Remember when you and Sally used to stay with me? When the... But it's young Artie. Meg, you remember Artie, don't you? No room at the inn for young Artie? No. You're right. You're always right. Sorry. Margaret says it's best if I keep to myself. Oh. Sorry to bother. But... Margaret thinks we could help each other. Really? Uh, brilliant. There's a warehouse. In the old German camp, we could burgle it. The Victory Memorial Camp? Where all those home army chaps run around practicing stabbing people with bayonets? What, what do you want me to do there? Run around yelling, here I am, shoot me, while you go in under the wire? There's uh, a thing I need from their warehouse. If you help me, I'll get you out of Wellington Wells. I just need you to turn off the power in the camp. And this isn't going to get me killed. Don't be a great girl's blouse. I'll meet you at the bunker after dark. Don't worry about the sentries on the bridge. I'll make sure they get a good night's sleep. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Shall I just show myself out then? Ollie? I don't actually know the way out, you know. That's Margaret. From school. Margaret... What's her name? She was supposed to go on the train, but then she disappeared and no one would talk about it.
A rose of Gilead. Percy told me about it. Maybe I can make some sort of ointment to put on my wounds. Otherwise, I'll never feel better. Berries. They grow all over the Garden District, don't they? I guess I can eat these till I run across a pub. Be a real hero and rescue her, or get myself killed. the American. Where are the Russians? <sighs> what would it like across the bridge? You two bloody listen to me, all right? <clears throat> One fine day, the sea boys come running into the regimental HQ, saying there's an elephant broke loose. Now, elephants is very gentle creatures most of the time, and they get along just fine with them. But when they're in heat, you have to chain them up. And this one, they got loose. And there's my hoot and chasing off in exactly the wrong direction. And the elephant runs into the market and starts eating bitches. And the coolie tries to stop them. And the elephant. Right into the market. He comes off his back like he was really with So the big boy comes No fucking civilians! I have to kill you now. Christ. Better not let anyone see me out of uniform. And he goes down the market. The elephant isn't in the market anymore. It's in a field. It's in loose. Calm is never mind. So, no call. Well, now the moon's got back and he's screaming and jabbering about. And 
and he don't know how to do any other job except sit on that elephant and tell it to pick up a log and carry it over there. But the elephant's taking the life of a man, you see. A coolie, but a man. And the moat's crying and jabbering. Cool as a summer breeze. The general chambers around, puts it right through the elephant's heart. <laughs> and the wind just goes out of it. It just kneels down and sighs. And then it's gone. And all the villages are running to get their lives because it's me. Now, see, a lesser man would have trembled. Do you ever wonder why the Germans didn't take their tanks with them when they left? I've made a map. There's a hole in the fence, inside the dump. You just have to get in here, get the key, and cut the power. Then, sneak out into the darkness while I rob them blind. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. How do I cut the power? The General keeps the keys in his desk. You want me to break into the General's office? Any way you can scotch the power is fine by me, lad. I'll meet you back at the train station. What if they spot me? I'd run. They don't have a lot of ammunition, but they're terribly handy with their bayonets. That's your plan B? Run? Well, you could ask them for some of their famous hot buttered crumpets, but I wouldn't recommend it. They can't run very fast. They're all old farts, like me. Let's see that map you made. Oh, Ollie's sleeping potion for those chaps on the bridge. Ollie said there was a hole in the fence in the dump. That sounds much safer than walking in by the front gate. Arthur! Arthur? You get down from that tree before I chop it down. Do you know why they're registering us? The Germans love their lists, that's all. They're taking us away on a train to Germany. You know about it, don't you? Who told you that? It's ridiculous. Oh, oh you all know about it, just not the kids. Look, they've got cows there. It's not going to be powdered milk. They might even have chocolate. Oh, chocolate makes it all better. They've got tanks, Arthur. Why haven't you noticed? How are we supposed to argue with tanks? I don't want to go to Germany. It's only for a little while, I think. I don't want to be a hostage. Calm down. Let's have some tea. Oh, right. I'll, I'll come down. Um, I think I might be stuck, actually.
Well, clean it again. You don't know that for sure. Won't hurt a bit. <coughs> Sorry to bother. I can't run with all this stuff. You better throw something away before something starts chasing you. All right, here goes. Papier-mâché. We took all the kids to the train station. We sent them off to Germany because of papier-mâché.
Attention all personnel, please remember to boil all water. Is beef. There have been some issues with the pipes. You may want to take an extra joy or two like as watching. boiling may break it down. Very good, sir. Righto, sir. Attention all personnel, the movie tonight will be Bulldog Sees It Through. This brilliant mystery story stars Jack Buchanan, Greta Gint, with Ronald China as Puck. <coughs> it's better this way. It's not her, it's me. Attention all personnel. If anyone finds Private Elston's trumpet, please return it at once. He's not the man who wakes you up in the morning. He is a musician in the band. all personnel to allow time to repair the mannequin bayonet practice has been rescheduled for 0900 hours tomorrow morning oh, I can't go Percy I feel terrible I keep wanting to throw up but I never quite can but we're supposed to tell we're supposed to tell... We're supposed to tell the scouts about the plants across the river. Actually, you're supposed to tell the scouts while I nod sagely. I can't hear you. You're not sick, Percy. Just go and tell the scouts about the plants. I can't talk to them. Do you think they're going to be nasty to you without me? No. Well, I'm vomiting. I want to make my brother some tea. Are you gonna just not show up? Alright, look, I'll phone them. Just remember to turn the flame off this time. Alright?
The wife thinks we entertain girls all day long here. Attention all personnel. Oh, we did. The Merry Band players will be performing their brilliant play, Happy Hamlet, yeah. at 8pm. Oh, it's nothing personal. All are invited. Oh, Don't worry, in Happy Hamlet, no one dies. Just relax. Don't question it. Infiltrator! We got a lot of... Go back to Germany, you swine! Ah. Attention all personnel. Tonight's movie will be King Arthur with a Gentleman, starring the hilarious Ronald Shiner and Arthur Askey. Don't miss this uproarious comedy. Attention all personnel, tonight's movies will be Hellcats at Ramsgate. This stirring war movie shows one of Britain's finest victories. Don't miss it. Whoever said we passed this way but one? Not my turn. Attention all personnel, the Merry Band players are looking for a replacement for the role of Kate in The Taming of the Shrew. If you are theatrically inclined, please talk to Sergeant Old Carter when he's not on the bridge. Gives you a sense of purpose. Attention all personnel. To allow time to repair the mannequin, Bayonet practice has been rescheduled for 0900 hours tomorrow morning. goes there? Attention all personnel. To allow time to repair the mannequin, bayonet practice has been rescheduled for 0900 hours tomorrow morning. Please don't make a fuss.
I said the key was in General Bing's office. And he's absolutely knocked in his desk. Why doesn't that surprise me? There's something behind this bookcase, isn't there? I feel positive there's something that could open this. Piano music, eh? Maybe I should have a read and play it. Well, aren't I clever clogs? A hatch. If it leads underground like the others, I can use it to get out of here once I'm done. Attention all personnel, the cook has lost his wedding ring. If you find it in your food, please return it to the kitchen. Thank you. Now's not to question why. You don't know that for sure. Attention all personnel. Patrols should be particularly careful in the forest. More than the usual number of plague victims have been spotted there recently.
Attention all personnel. Tonight's movies will be Hellcats and Ramsgate. This stirring war movie shows one of Britain's finest victories. Don't miss it. Right, here goes. Attention, all oh, for fuck's sake, Ollie. He knew it was a lull, didn't he? I bet he bloody knew. How do I get out of here? I'm not going to be able to jump over the fence from this side. I've got to get back to the general secret hatch. That's my way out. Yay, mache tanks. Newspaper and fucking glue. Right. Now, if we can make it back to Ollie alive, he'll help me get out of town. Assuming that wasn't another lie, that won't be an awkward conversation at all, will it? Oh, 
Please don't struggle. Attention all personnel. The intruder should be captured alive if possible. And if I hadn't smoked in high school, I could carry a bit more. I could probably come in the way I got out, in the back of the station. Young Artie! Come on up! That's a fair bit of Christmas there, isn't it? Did you know the power switch was alarmed? They're all quite mad, you know. Sometimes I think they want the Germans to come back. Did you know the power switch was alarmed? It's a shame of it, you see. 
They want another go? You bloody knew! How would I have known that? For fuck's sake, Artie, times are hard, but you and I go back a ways. The tanks were hollow, Ollie. What's that? It's tank armor. The tanks, they're made of papier mache. We could have fought them if they didn't really have tanks. No. I wouldn't have given them Percy and the others. Listen up. I wouldn't have had to lie my way off that train. Oh my god. I lied my way off that train. I wasn't too old to go. You don't forget a thing like that. Didn't you hear me? I convinced the Germans they had my birthday wrong. No, no, no. No, no. If it was only me, I'd just take my happy pills and sleep through the end of the world. But I promised. I promised Percy I'd keep him safe while we were in Germany. You promised to help me get to the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> the one in the parade, on Apple Home. How would you even get to it? You can't even go to Maidenholm. They shut that bridge down last week. No. You're right. You're always right. Ever seen one of these? What does it do? Have at the foggiest. <laughs> but supposing you took this to the bridge to Maidenholm. And supposing you told the bobbies you were there to fix the bridge works, it might uh, enhance your credibility. And from Maidenholm, I can get to Appleholm. And Appleholm has the only bridge out of Wellington Wells. See? <laughs> Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Well then, see you on the other side. I'd rather doubt that. <laughs> Adieu, Artie. Good luck. Sick up tea to cure food poisoning by making myself throw up. Oh, God. I but I wind up having to eat a lot of rotten things and having to throw them up. Don't mind me, just having a bit of a sit down.
So don't forget the most important thing. Is it your tea? Is it your muesli? Is it... Is it bacon and eggs? Is it toast? <laughs> Did you forget to butter your toast? No, don't be silly. It's your daily joy. Never forget to take your joy. And I guarantee your day will go swimmingly. At least we could have not done it for them. It must have been rough on my mum. You don't sign up to have a kid like Percy. Before we begin, please listen to a personal message for our prudent friend. The fox is in the hen house. The fox is in the hen house. Who's our prudent friend? Down the bridge has fallen down, fallen down, fallen down. London Bridge has fallen down. We're not a bloody bread and breakfast, are we? So get out! Uh, he's got blood on his hands! I see you! Uh, uh, save a bit for the next minute. We'll laugh about this later. Place yourself, Arthur. We had a dog, didn't we? When we were young, before the war. His name was... Stripe. Stripe. Lovely day for it. Unfortunately, the bridge is not open at this time. It was working just a minute ago, but the door is broken again. You'll have to wait until it's up again. Do you ever let anybody in? Oh, yes. There's someone in there now. And in the past month? Well, in the past month. Ah! Oh, there's a chap in there right now. You don't really want anyone back from the Garden District, do you? Hell, my wastrel friend. No one goes off their joy can actually take joy. I mean, would you? Everybody feels better if that door stays broken. You, us, everybody. Well, Constable Wright, I suppose now I can tell Central why the bridge keeps breaking down. Central? Ever seen one of these? Oh, bugger me. You're not some sort of undercover bridge inspector. This device detects structural irregularities using shortwave radar. But I don't think it will show me the real problem. Will it, Constable Wright? 
Look, sir, you can fix that door, but them wastrels still ain't gonna take that joy. It makes them see eyes everywhere. That's not for you to decide, is it? No, sir. The, the, the maintenance hatch is that way, sir. I, I, I'd be grateful if you forgot this conversation ever, ever happened. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Oh, bugger. If I really was from Central, I'd have the card, wouldn't I? There is another way, though, isn't there? Please take a number and sit down. There's nobody else here. Please take a number and sit down. Just, uh... Watching the day go by. Number two. Now serving number two. Welcome to the rehabilitation center. Actually, I'm just a sort of undercover bridge inspector from Central. See this device? Uh, it detects structural... It... Then you should have no trouble passing the test, should you? Please head through the door there and begin your rehabilitation. judging. Don't you look wonderful? Please proceed to the next room. In case there is any residual odor of the garden district on you, please enjoy this room. Scent of country flowers. Is that licorice? 
Why licorice? Get ready for the most important moment in your rehabilitation. Please take your favorite flavor of joy. Vanilla, chocolate, or strawberry. Oh, I must insist that you not traverse the beams of the joy detector without taking your joy, sir. Oh, damn it. They were serious about taking my joy, weren't they? Lovely day for it. Lovely day for it. Happiness is a choice. Should clear up soon, I imagine. All right. Please head into the theater and take a seat. And now it's time for the Uncle Jack Etiquette Minute. You may be wondering, how can I fit in better in Hamlin Village? Well, it's easy. To get along, go along. If someone tells you it's a lovely day, agree with them. <laughs> because of course, it's always a lovely day in Hamlin Village. So don't be afraid of talking to people first. They'll appreciate it. Now, I'm assuming, of course, that you're decently dressed. Eh? Clothes make the man, eh? Indeed, naked people have almost no influence at all in society. <laughs> and don't dress in rags either, or people might think you're a wastrel. Now, what should you do if people are staring at you? Maybe they're asking you if you remember to take your joy. Who cares? Just pop another, and they'll congratulate you and go on about their day. And if things seem to be getting a bit hectic, remember, you can always sit on a bench, relax and open the Hamlin or Quran. Take a load off. No one will bother you when you're sitting on a bench. Unless you've made them very angry. Well, <laughs> or, I don't know, watch Jack Worthing on television. I, he's very good. <laughs> well, I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. Tune in tomorrow for another Etiquette Minute with Jack Worthing. That's me. Isn't Uncle Jack wonderful? Now, please proceed to the third floor, where you will be tested on what you've just relearned. Just a friendly reminder. Uncle Jack don't mention it, but a word to the wise. Proper decent people don't like people what is running, jumping, crouching, spying, sneaking, breaking or entering. Such like behaviours is what we associate with downers. Avoid them and we shan't have disagreements. Come back to her.
Hamlin Village and behave like a proper, decent citizen. Oh, for heaven's sake, they can't be serious. Are you ready to behave? Now, our five guest questioners are going to ask you one question each. All you have to do is show us that you understand how to behave yourself in Wellington Wells. Mr. Cashier, what question do you have for our prodigal son or daughter? Lionel Cashier. Glad he's still around. If you want to fit in, you should. A. Say hello to everyone you meet, like I do. B. Visit people's houses, whether they're there or not. C. The eyes! The eyes! Yes, that's right. It never hurts to say hello to people. Player two, I'm afraid the eyes, the eyes, was not the right answer. Mrs. Browning, what would you like to know? If you realise you're wearing rags, should you A. Pop a joy. B. Put on proper clothes for God's sake. And why not pop a joy? C. Why does everything have eyes? What the hell? 
I passed the test. Oh, for heaven's sake, I'm not going to do this again. How do I get out of here? Are you ready to behave? Now, our five guest questioners are going to ask you one question each. All you have to do is show us that you understand how to behave yourself in Wellington Wells. <laughs> Mr. Cashier, what question do you have for our prodigal son or daughter? If you want to fit in, you should. A. Say hello to everyone you meet, like I do. B. Visit people's houses, whether they're there or not. C. The eyes! The eyes!
May I express my delight that you passed the examination, sir? We've not had as many as we'd hoped, sir. Not as many at all. And yet, they say the unexamined life is not worth living. Well, sir, welcome back. Oh, and in case your rustication has been of long duration, please bear in mind there is now a nocturnal curfew. Best be indoors after nightfall, sir. Lovely day for it. You know, I think someone's looking for you. Have you been? Hello there, love. There you are. Wait, I forgot to tell you the punchline. Hold on. You're not Harry. Lovely day for it. Did you hear? They've caught Foggy Jack. Isn't that a relief? All right. What a lovely day to promenade. Couldn't be better, thanks. Watch out for scurvy. That's what Jack says. Lovely weather. Father McCartney preaches such thoughtful sermons. I wish he was Anglican. All right. Lovely day for it. So from here, I've got to get to St George's home and then into the parade. Except that I need a letter of transit to get into the parade. Like the one I left on my desk in the parade. How do I get a new one? Wait. The old government printing office was on Maidenholm. Maybe I can break in and steal some blanks. <laughs> 